What's up, people? I'm back with another video. Today, I am going to be talking about Love & Marriage DC cast member, Winter Harris. She has said that this is going to be her last season, and it is based off of the treatment from the production company of Carlos, Carlos' personal treatment towards her, and then the cash treatment as a whole. You know, Winter really felt like going into the show, she was being herself. She wanted to, you know, come on and, you know, spread her brand and be a businesswoman. But little did she know that she was actually the real villain of the show. Let's get into the story and talk about it. Carlos King, um, his dismissal of, you know, Winter's feelings, the low pay that the cast receives, and just the disrespect overall from Carlos King's production company. Let's get into the story. Welcome to Roy Air's Corner. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, I'm glad you're back again. Remember to hit the like button on this video, comment your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and hit that notification bell on all. That way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. Well, Miss Winter Harris herself went on down to Miss Queen Sheba Darling's YouTube channel and opened up about her experience with Carlos King, the Love and Marriage Huntsville cast, and the production company. Now, I watched this video. It's about 50 59 minutes. It will be down in the description box. So go ahead and head over there and hit that subscribe button, like that video, and make sure you watch it, okay? I'm just going to give us a brief synopsis of kind of what went down in this video, okay? So Winter Harris here, they call her Winter Williams on the show, but her actual name is Winter Harris. Williams was her married name. After she got divorced and separated, she went back to her maiden name. She did explain that she asked the show to, you know, move her back to Winter Harris, but they refused to do so. Now, Winter was going on the show, you know, and her role on the show was a, a relationship coach, okay? Well, Winter shares with us, by the time she gets back on the show and starts, you know, being on the show, she's no longer a relationship coach. But that is the storyline that Carlos, his production company, and the producers wanted to portray. So they rolled with that storyline that she was still a relationship coach. But she shares with us, during that time of filming and going forward, she was not a relationship coach, okay? So, you know, she was kind of disdained from that point going forward because they were trying to put a storyline on her that she was really not living in her real reality. Now, you know, she does open up as well, you know, about this being her first time on TV. She's never done reality TV before. She doesn't know anything about reading and getting a bitch together. She is just a very witty girl. So anything that Winter said, according to Winter, anything that she really said during the show are real things that she would say in real life because she's witty like that. So, for example, when she called um, Quick Fun Size, you know, that was just something that she would say. Hey, she said that she would say these things in real life because she's witty like that and quick on her feet. And which I can believe that because Winter is very, um, she says she, she don't know nothing about reading and shade, but she is a good reader, baby. And she know how to throw some shade your way, okay? Now, you know, as far as her interactions with the show, Winter was supposed to be on the show first season, but, you know, uh, which was thanks to Monique Samuels. Monique called her up, said, hey, I'm getting ready to do a show. I think it'll be great for your business, for your platform, blah, 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 blah. She said, sure, let's do it. Well, she backed out last minute because her and her husband were having issues and she ended up filing for divorce. Well, she was doing a show with Monique. Um, it was supposed to be another guest, but that guest ended up getting sick and backed out. And Monique didn't want to cancel the show. So Monique brought her on. 
Well, little did Winter know that Carlos was there as well. They pulled her off set and Carlos said, introduced himself, you know, hey, I'm from, you know, his production company. I would love for you to be on the show, Love and Marriage Huntsville. We love what you did here, da 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 So that is how she got on the show, thanks to Monique Samuels, okay? Well, once being on the show, she really began to see how things really were, okay? Now, one thing that really bothered Winter was the disrespect from the men of the cast. Quick, specifically, and Jamie, I know, really specifically, okay? Really Jamie, in my opinion. Um, you know, she really felt attacked. Winter opened up about growing up in a home where she, you know, was not abused. She didn't see abuse. She grew up with a loving father, a caring father, a father who took care of her and treated her like a young lady and showed her what a woman should be treated like. Well, according to uh, Winter, the men on this show did not treat her the way she feels her father taught her men should treat her. She was very dis uh, dis disgusted, I'll say, with the treatment from the men and how they would talk to her, especially she opens up about season one's reunion when she went to the show and the men were just grilling her nonstop. And she really lost respect for Carlos and the production company because nobody stopped the men from grilling her the way they did. It was just totally disrespectful, totally out of line. And she said then one of the producers was behind the camera yelling, get her, get her, get her, you know, read her, get her together to the men towards a woman. Now, Carlos, you ought to know better than that. We do not allow men to attack women, especially if they have not attacked first. And in my opinion, this is my opinion, I don't think Winter was intentionally attacking these individuals without it being warranted, okay? Um, they play Winter as the villain, according to Winter, and kind of from what I'm seeing, because if you really watch season one and then you watch season two, Winter is not the same character, if you may, that she was portrayed to be in season one. And so speaking of season one, here it is. You got Jamie over here sitting with a whole attitude, quick over here, just so just, just body language is screaming disgusted. I want to say, in my opinion, that uh, Monique's husband was the only individual, his mind, name is slipping my mind right now, so please forgive me, um, Mr. Samuels was the only individual really covering and looking out for Winter. And, I, and this is my other thing as well and why I kind of feel and understand her disgust. Carlos, you know, when a woman does not have a man behind her, I don't think it's fair for another man to attack her viciously without, you know, someone to defend her. And we clearly sat and watched the show and watched how Carlos really just kind of let freedom ring on Winter with everybody else. I just didn't like it at all. And it just reminded me kind of this whole Sweet Tea situation, how he makes these jokes about Sweet Tea and about these other people, but it's really hurtful towards them. And I think... Um, I just, I, I just don't know how I really feel about Carlos allowing this kind of behavior to happen on his shows, especially when we kind of know, and this is the aspect that I was looking at it from, when we already know how the white man treats our people on our shows, you would think that once we get in our own circle, we would be treated with respect dignity, love, care, tenderness, you know, those those tender, you know, those things that we should treat everybody as such. But it just was not giving that. And Winter said, you know, during that reunion, her makeup artist came over, her hairstylist came over several times to check on her because her whole entire team was traumatized and disgusted by the way Carlos allowed these individuals to handle her, literally. And so Winter said that next day after the reunion, if you notice, Winter didn't stay the whole reunion. She did her part, and then she was asked to leave, escorted off the set, right? Excuse me, y'all. I'm getting over a little cold. Um, sinuses, rather. Um, when, you know, 
she called the next day to kind of have something done about the reunion because she was just totally disgusted. You know, she was told that they're going to take care of it. We know it was a lie, but we're going to get it together. Well, Winter shares with us what they ended up doing is playing the last part of her portion of the reunion first. And they literally swapped the whole scene flopped it around and made it seem like she was being apologetic for something that she really didn't do, you know, but it, it was just a hot mess. You know, she said that she spoke with Carlos and he said to her, you know, you did a great job. You're very strong and you're going to get through this. Have a nice day. Pretty much no care. No, can we get you some therapy? Is there anything we can do? I apologize on behalf of the men. No making nobody else apologize. Just flat out getting what you want for the camera and throwing these people to the side. Winter also opened up about some of the other individuals who were disgusted with the platform that Carlos has provided for them. She talked about uh, Black, his wife, uh, Black, uh, the Black family, excuse me, you know, they will possibly not be returning to the show. Winter has already confirmed that she is not returning to the show. The Quicks and uh, Ashley Silva and uh, Quicksilver, they're possibly not returning to the show. We already know Monique and her husband are gone. You know, this is going to be a really big cash shakeup, you know, for Love and Marriage DC. The only people so far that I know are for sure returning back um, allegedly, and all of this is alleged, this is all Winter's information, okay? According to Winter, the only people that are truly coming back is Jamie and his wife. Mm. Okay. And according to her, they need the check to come back. Now, Winter also opened up about, you know, the pay that Carlos down there over there, you know, with the Love and Marriage uh, clan is giving. He said their contracts are not renewed by seasons. That's why they do the season one part A, season one part B, so that he can get you into keeping your same pay all year long. All year long. We see the games that you're playing, Carlos. She said that they made no more than $2,500 an episode. Not that they made $2,500 an episode. They make on Love and Marriage DC, a black show run by a black man with an all-black cast. He is paying them less than $2,500 an episode for their first season, for their second season as well, according to Windsor. Carlos, now I can understand the first season, you know, 2,500 or less, but your second season and you saying that you got the number one show on own and you only paying these people $2,500 an episode or less, that's a problem, a major problem. And I know that you have a lot, you know, of other people to pay and all of those things. And I guess this is what the people signed up for, but where is the equality? Where is the elevating our people? You're using their lives for the story that you want to tell, but you can't properly pay the people. Carlos, I have a problem with that. Also, you know, she opens up and says that Carlos is really not involved in his shows. He does not really talk to the cast members. It's really the main production that kind of runs everything. He said that, you know, he does not make any decisions as far as what's produced and what's going on and what goes out and what goes in. I don't believe that because you claim that this is your show and that you're running everything. I'm sure that you have to give the final stamp of approval for everything to go out. So that means you were okay with the treatment of winter here in the reunion and here at this dinner table when everybody was here for dinner. Hmm. Okay. Shout out to Queen Sheba who got this interview with Winter Harris to open up about what's really going on down at the Love and Marriage Huntsville and down on the Carlos King, you know, production company. I, I just, and I really like the, um, interviews that Carlos does. I love the Mama D interview. I love the Apollo interview. I, I, I love his interviewing style. I just do not like I, 
I don't know if I want to call it shade. I don't know if I want to call it disrespect. I don't know exactly what I want to call it. But there's just something about the way that he operates. I, I just don't like it. I, I don't like it. I just, I don't like it. And I don't know how else to explain it. Excuse me. And I felt kind of this way, even before Winter opened up about how, you know, Carlos is with the shows. I see how Carlos judges the shows that he's not on. So I can't imagine how he judges the shows and thinks about the shows that he is actually producing and putting forward towards the people. Y'all make sure you go check out this video. There is so much more that Winter is sharing. You know, she cried at the reunion. Her team was upset, you know, and she really said that she shouldn't have come back for that uh, second season, but you won't get her a third time. You will not get her a third time. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. What do you think about Carlos King and his treatment with his cast according to Winter? You know, she is speaking up. And I'm curious if others are going to speak up and share their sentiments about how they feel production is working for Carlos King and his production company. You know, their personal relationships with Carlos. Winter said he don't be around. He don't be around. That's what Winter said. They don't have communication with him like that. That's what Winter said. But maybe it's just a her thing. But I am very curious of what's going to happen going forward. Um, Carlos has not made a response to this specific video. I highly doubt that he'll address anything with this because when you do address it, it draws attention. Um, but I want y'all to check it out. Look at it. Queen Sheba, darling, her video will be down here in the description box. Go hit that like on the video. Check out her channel. If you like what she's got going on, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell on all. Winter Harris, thank you for sharing your thoughts and opinions. You know, I pray that you will be able to get over this and move forward. You know, reality TV can really be traumatizing for people and it can leave a scar, a huge scar for them to deal with for the rest of their lives. I've recently been watching um, Quiet on the Set. You know, uh, who was it? HBO Max, I want to say. They released a four or five episode series of, you know, what was going on with Nickelodeon behind the scenes with Dan Schneider and all of the shows, The Amanda Show, um, Drake and Josh, iCarly, all of those shows and the abuse that was going on you know, from the producers of that show. Mainly Dan was, you know, just emotionally and physically, excuse me, not physically, emotionally and, what's the other word I want to use? Emotionally and verbally, thank you, abusing these kids on the set. And some of them were sexually abused too by others, not Dan Schneider, but by others. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Hit the like button on this video. If you're not a subscriber, check out my channel. If you like what we got going on, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell on all that way you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Check out that video down in the description box. Leave your thoughts and opinions below, and I will catch y'all next time in Warriors Corner. Bye.